Now we'll talk a little bit about when it's time to discontinue the IV. So um, what we're going for is that it's minimal trauma to the patient, and of course it should be less, much less traumatic than the actual IV start. This procedure, when you come into the room, you need your clean gloves. You're going to need to bring some gauze um, and a Band-Aid or tape. You're going to um, want to make sure that you are ready to apply pressure to the site when you take the, the IV catheter back out. You want to always remember to inspect the catheter. So when you, you pull it out of the skin, you're going to look at it and make sure that it's intact. Because if it's not intact, if, if part of it stayed in the patient, that is considered a medical emergency and you need to alert the provider right away. And you will always want to remember also that when you DC an IV, just like when you start it, you need to document as well. So these are the supplies that you want to bring. The other best practice right now, is, and the reason the alcohol is in this picture, is that um, it is... Um, preferred now that you wipe down the IV site after you get the tape off that you wipe it down before you take the IV out and again it has to do with preventing infection after after it's discontinued so there are varying reasons why you may need to DC an IV you know sometimes it's everything has been infused there's no more orders for any kind of IV medications and you're you're done with your orders and so it's time to take it out if there's any kind of complication that we talked about, it needs to be discontinued and restarted in another site. Sometimes it has to be DC'd because the nurse goes in to use it and finds that they can no longer flush it. And usually the cause of that is that there is a clot somewhere. And you don't ever, ever want to force, uh, forcefully push saline because if there is a clot there, there's the potential that you push that clot off into circulation, and of course that could cause a heart attack, a, a stroke, you know, a, a pulmonary embolism. So you don't ever want to force an IV when you're when you're trying to flush it. Um, and then another reason why you may need to DC it is that that 72 or 96 hours is up, and you need to restart it in another spot. Ooh. Mm -hmm.